Okay. okay, guys, this is a fruit crusher, and Ray and I are going to be making some cider with all these apples. But it takes two of us because it's a manual one, and I decided not to mount it like you should. <laughs> these little holes, it should be mounted to something. We're just doing it row. So we're going to show you guys what we're doing here with my horrible way of videoing. And then what we're going to do is press it and show you that. Okay. So for now, we're old school doing it. I've got a pusher to help push it down in there. If we had it actually attached to something, we would get more leverage. But I didn't have time. We got too much going on. We just wanted to get a couple crates of apples done. So as you can see, with a fruit crusher, they're usually meant for all kinds of fruit, grapes, apples. I call them cider press. That's what's under it. I have two. This is a very small one um, because we don't have multiple crates. We only have two instead of 10 crates. But if you guys ever have too much of anything, especially something you want to make a delicious juice out of, it is awesome and you can use all these leftover peelings after we press to make like apple jelly or something so we're just about done and then we'll show you guys what it looks like after it's gone through here it's a good workout it's a good workout because these should be all strapped to something solid okay <laughs> but if we take a quick peek guys at what we've been doing, we lift this sucker up. Whoops. This is what we've got. That's five gallons of apple peeling, or not peelings, um, apple chunks, basically, if we zoom in. It's all crushed and ground. Now what we're going to do, the next step, guys, is we'll be putting it on this little platform here and pressing it. So stay tuned while we get the press together.